And Hello and welcome back to another edition of Arbitration Studios as we continue our journey across the whole damn thing of Mass Effect. I'm JP Arbiter. I'm Captain Jack. And we have just punched someone and it felt fucking good. It did, it did, and thus gave rise to the story of Agatha Fisty Shepherd. <laughs> um. Ooh. And now we're going right into a thing. Uh, yeah. Indeed. I... And again, Saren, old friend, why do you have really weird cybernetics on your arm? Right? <laughs> like... Totally misses that. Everyone <laughs> misses that. Totally misses he's got a whole cable thing going on up in here. Yeah, hydraulic jawline, bi bionic eyes, I mean, all of that what are you shit. Doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I just... just <laughs> I wasn't expecting... Something's wrong here, dude. You may want to see a doctor. You, it looks like you got robo herpes or something. I've got a know, right? Robo space herpes. Oh, the betrayal. Pop. Oh, the inevitable betrayal. What is that? Okay. Off in the distance. I gotta tell you, the first time I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. Oh, insufficient sniper training. I knew I should have gone with an infiltrator. <laughs> oh, oh. But then again, that means well, we'll get that fixed as we level up, but damn it. No, no. Down, human zombie. They're coming to touch you. No touchy. Oh, they're going to touch you. No touchy. Yep. Cool down, you damn gun! Don't give me a. <laughs> uh, I always thought I thought that mechanic when it first came was really, really impressive, and these days I find it annoying as shit. Oh, jeez, Lord, tell me about it. This is... Oh, hey, open the crate. Get some Omni gel. More Simon. B X Y. I know, right? I'm going to do that all the out, time. Anyway. Safe? Are they gone? Stop no right there. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. <laughs> We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. <laughs> Tell me everything you remember about the attack. It's in the future and you can't the Three of us were working the, the crops when that ship showed no, up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. Well, oh, you, the, you, the bare shoulder the on the gal? Right I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess the, no, off the shoulder look is in the shoulder. You don't know that. I mean, we survived. If they made it, I mean, the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. You know, it's, it's space. All, everyone you know, dresses like strippers. Uh, they dug up. Apparently. We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? It looked like a giant thing from Bad Dragon. <laughs> Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. <coughs> it was a the noise! The awful noise! It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. Uh, so he knows what being married is like. <laughs> Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Hey, you're, you're one for one, so... <laughs> anyway. I'm one for two. <laughs> All right. I have to go. There's no punch you option on this one. No, but I can threaten them. I thought we could get some stuff out of them. Okay. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the <laughs> spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard! <laughs> running for your life? You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. <laughs> oh, let's go all... All dick? Yeah, let's just go. Yeah. A angry parent, got You've it. I've asked this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no, wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? 
He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Oh, you're going to snitch. <laughs> this is not America. He might have something to do I'm with not going to threaten tactical. life. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. That's the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. <laughs> Powell. <laughs> no, people named Powell That's are good. intrinsically okay. It's true. <laughs> they are not... Mm. Stinger and a combat sensor. Cool. Like okay. Combat sensors. Easy electronics. All right. Oh. Well, no, no. <laughs> no, we want that stuff. It's not at the point yet in the game where we just automatically turn everything into Omni Gel. And goodbye N7 logo for the rest of the game. I know, right? I will take that. And we'll put the, the motion tracker on. Ooh, that stinger's a nice operator. Yeah. Believe it or not, it needs to go to this guy. Well, yeah, because that's basically all he uses. So... Biotic amp, no. Omni tool, no. Armor, shock absorbers, cool. All right. Hi, Ashley. Commit any acts of casual racism lately? <laughs> yeah, all jokes aside, I actually like the character of Ashley Williams. Well, she doesn't go through like a red. Redemption she just gets slightly less racist. Yeah, you know, I don't like you, but guess what? You're a good person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she likes good people. Just <laughs> some of my best friends are Arturians. Commander. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. <laughs> I really wish there was an option to shoot. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. <laughs> I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Hello, Powell. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. Oh, let war his guard buddies. Down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. <laughs> what happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. So, they didn't find you? you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my ship. Oh no, that's understandable. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. <laughs> you survived because you're lazy? <laughs> I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, it's a rather good survival technique. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> be napping when shit I hits the really fan. I want to think about it. So, by the way, you're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. <laughs> what? No. I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything well. hidden nearby that we could use against the guest? <laughs> a shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? 
I never thought you'd actually need <laughs> That's those way things. more common than you, you think. You want to attack Eden Prime with just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Hand it over. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. <laughs> a lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. <laughs> Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Thank you. Find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. Ooh, high explosives. So, that's gonna be nice. Uh, high explosives are always nice. I mean. All right. I've always been a fan of things that go boom. <laughs> Ooh, someone, uh, someone spiked my gun. And here we go with the like smooth sounding techno beats from right. from KTIT. I mean, just. <laughs> Just, just lovely music choice. I, I don't know about that with this. It does, it doesn't quite fit the mood. I always like it. I mean, I, I'm just talking about this track in particular in this circumstance. <laughs> we boom! Take out those hostiles. You're what, in what, my way. Yeah. What exactly? You're, hey, listen, <clears throat> Lieutenant. I'm a commander, you're a lieutenant, you don't tell me to take out the hostiles, I tell you. Now take out those hostiles. <laughs> and stop letting them shoot me! We need to have a serious discussion about the chain of command. It is the chain that I beat you with until you understand who's in command! Not just time and placement. Get close. And he's already dead. Oh. Well, I got the that other one. That one got it. And you left that. Oh, and now I'm crouch walking. <laughs> Hoo ha! Hoo. You really ha. Be Do your squats. Helps your butt. Ooh, ha. <laughs> she didn't need a whole lot of help. I'm just telling her that's <coughs> really well put together. Uh... Yeah, combat armor and medicine. Oh yeah, we need some meds. No, <laughs> medicine leads to neural shock. Oh, oh, crap! <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! Uh, why? <laughs> why? Oh. All right. So we got the putts and the tank, and they're going to be hanging around with us for a while. Yeah, well, you know, until we get something better. Um, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> the charges, which, I mean, destroy the entire the colony. Is. And then we'll get the no then we'll get the archangel, who is not the archangel yet. Uh, but he's archangel at all times. The and in all places. The space Jew. Hey y'all. I say that with all with every last bit of compliment i actually love the cory in a s story yeah me too we, but, me too i love the whole Corian thing i'm a, I'm a huge fan of. but uh <clears throat> the uh let's see here the geeky hundred year old teenager and then finally the crook and what 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 can you say about the krogan it's a cr <laughs> This game gave me the idea of. Hurry! We need to find them all. Shut the, them down. 
For, first off, unlike, they weren't a po- Krogan not being a poetic warrior race, instead they were- they were killers. I like that they look like giant crocodile people and yet they're mammals. <laughs> I think their biology kind of defies all aspects of a normal classification. Considering that a Krogan is like four beings and one if you tally up all of their all of their organs. Well they were genetically designed for warriors, weren't they? No, they were they were uplifted, but they were ah. genetically designed. They were they were uplifted in that stuff. They yeah. Would take out those hostiles. Would you let me disarm the damn bomb? That'd be funny if those things because <laughs> they blew up because he got in the damn way. God, you know, God damn it, Karth! I know, it's like, I have nothing in the place. It doesn't have to be the problem. It always carries the shit out of me. Gotta be honest so with what? you, the first time I played through this thing, I held shit in my pants. I was like, wait, what? Clear. What do you mean, five minutes? Pistol Striker 2. I think that's actually, uh, I think that's something that Smith & Wesson actually does put out. I know how to use them. Get away from me, you... Well, that situation was shocking. <laughs> As well, you should be. Okay. Oh, wait, what's over here? I've never been over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't sprint if you're out of combat. Pisses me off. Alright. Just, guys, look. I want to get from A to B fast. Okay? Ma'am. Oh, hey, gun locker. Cool. Yeah, some of the movement in this early game was it was a little choppy. It was, you know, um, some of that stuff. Those changes I really liked in the later games. Fun is in the challenge, Simon. <laughs> there's a all the way on the other side. There's a oh, there's a crate, and then there's a locker. Oh, cool, cool. Hang on, guys. The plot does not advance until we loot all the bodies. It's a role-playing game. You gotta get all the loot. <laughs> put your left foot in. You put your left foot out. Look at that. I care about caliber barrel. I can dirty Harry this thing. <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling about that armor. Really doesn't accentuate her ass at all. Mm. But does it protect it? I don't know. <laughs> all right. So we found the glowy alien rod. Uh, I kind of want to touch it, guys. The MacGuffin. Anything like that when they Can I touch the rod? Don't touch the rod. I want to touch the rod. Oh, so Kaden. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. God damn it, Karth and Assy! Karth? <laughs> whenever, Seriously. Whenever Caden does something stupid, he must. we must call him Karth and Assy. <laughs> No, don't oh my it. god, I'm coming down! Space Jesus got a space high. <laughs> Bad trip, dude. All these squares make a circle. All and these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. And you melted it. Way to go. Captain Anderson, I need you to tell me I can leave the Normandy whenever I want. Space squid. Mm. 
We identified the ship. Hey, well, that's <laughs> that's a, okay. Thank you for starting it with that angle. No, well, I mean, it was under the command. If you're gonna have Troy on in your game, I mean, you have to show her badass. Let's be good. It's like a front butt. <laughs> it's magnificent. Remember, no, no, you don't do the choking unless she consents in advance. She has to say, choke me, daddy. Mm. Consent is awesome. All right. All the other stuff, I mean, you've pre-established that's all good. But remember, when you can possibly harm her, you if you're not consent. careful, you got to, she God. has to say the go word. God. Indeed. I think she's waking up. <clears throat> what gave you the hint? The fact that I'm sitting upright? Damn it, Karth! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? <laughs> like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Oh, it's really? You think? I must have mm. triggered some kind of yes. security field. Yes, it is your fault, Kaden. Yeah, push me out of the way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna rag on him. <laughs> Something fierce. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. <coughs> hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Yeah. No, he set it off. <laughs> Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Look, if something goes wrong, it's Caden's fault. <laughs> I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Uh, I also noticed an increase beta in your waves. rapid eye Well, at least they're not gamma. Signs it's typically true. associated with intense dreaming. Hulk smash. Not a dream. A vision. Really, it was more like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. And now we're doing that weird hmm. thing where the camera is zoomed... Where the Make camera physically moves towards oh. you, but zooms out. Oh. <laughs> How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Aye, Captain, you'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that Shut the hard fuck up, Kaden! Are you sure you're okay? The only thing worse would be if he was played by Will Wheaton. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Shut up, Will! <laughs> I don't like soldiers dying under my command. He hates that, by the way. <laughs> you did a good job, sir. I have a uh, little personal story about... <clears throat> About Will Wheaton. We if you want to make him laugh, if you want to make Will I Wheaton we laugh use his ass off, He's what you do is that moment. you geek out to him and, and then just finally spit out, "You were amazing in the last Starfighter." He was though. <laughs> yeah, he was so amazing that they had to cut him out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <sighs> Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. I prefer a full crew. Lieutenant Lanko agrees with you. I know that you That's can, like, get through this basically with, uh, only, only with Liera and Caden. Yeah, but your crew is kind of like your, your item slots. You want them all filled. Yeah. Yeah, I want to, believe me, I want to fill Liara. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. <laughs> she, been out the the, uh, the Mass Effect point, the little... Nobody <laughs> could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. I won't lie to you. Nihilus is dead. Look at this robotic arm. Why is a robotic arm that's meant for, like, building cars here in sickbay? I won't lie to you, Shepard. We're gonna court-martial the shit out of you. No, wait, sorry. <laughs> The council can kiss my ass. They won't look and blame me for losing the beacon. Hey, 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 hey! Didn't do anything wrong? Council didn't earn that. I'll stand behind. Yet. Yet. I am here, my 
my books. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with there are no living legends except me. Hey, God damn it! And I'm gonna prove it by killing him. Yes. Saren's dangerous. He shall and die. He hates humans. I, he hates humans. Well, that makes why? two of us. <laughs> he thinks we're growing <laughs> taking over the galaxy. I totally understand yeah, hating a lot of aliens. Well, yeah, yeah we're... Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. Don't why? Know how. Uh, uh, every other species is pissed off because, oh, well, we you need to sign you this treaty limiting dreadnoughts. But you built Did so you many of them, you have to decommission them. Any Fuck that. We'll just pull out the Saren main gun and after? fill it with aircraft! <laughs> Wait, you can do that? Why would you do that? You'll see. Honestly, fighter craft in space is stupid, especially when you can fill that space with smart missiles. A vision. <laughs> a vision of fighter craft are just reusable smart missiles. Eh. Smart missiles are less expensive. <laughs> War. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this. I mean, do you remember the summer of 69? <laughs> It's uh, kind of like look, that, look, only the exact opposite. Look, seriously, forget it, bro. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever. Yes. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. Oh, no, it's more the dying the gasp of a of a long a lost race. He believes humans are. He has the secrets the from the beacon. Well, again, that makes he has an army of Geth at his command, are. and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity. Until we start acting like like Captain Picard wants us to act. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say we, because you know there's still Germany out there. I'll find some way to take him. Leaders of the free world. <laughs> it's not that easy. He's world war three starts germany no but i'm right here on the good guys side the on the good guys side no <laughs> sorry force a habit it's okay the understand <laughs> it's understandable we prove saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status we're like james we bond only a lot more guns and a lot less close. sex Head up to the bridge mm. and tell Joker to bring us into dark. I mean, not to give anything away. <laughs> uh, and, and meanwhile, Shepard walks up and says, Oh, really? Oh, really? I'll fix that. Because, I mean, one of the big, like, I, I mean, one of the big controversies about Glad this to see you're okay, Commander. Guy, is that you can basically bang your to way across the galaxy. Okay. Losing and we won't. And we shall. I'm glad we didn't lose you. I have this whole plan. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right. No, so no. But at least you stopped Saren. From Nor should you. The colony. I mean, you were there too. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> we're Marines. I mean, seriously, no. We could not have been in this situation without you fucking up. Exactly. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. She says in a, in that tone there, of voice that says she doesn't really right. mean it. Mm. Just bad luck. <laughs> It's been a, problem, a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. <laughs> Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, career I'm man! Out. I'm restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides my and a very small one. <laughs> Eventually. But is that why you're here? Uh, because of your family? Lieutenant, you, well, you commissioned an enlisted prisoner. You probably started enlisted. Yeah. Uh, the, for some reason, the Alliance military is based on the Canadian military. So, a regular Navy so, the, you know, so, it, so the, the, tra the, the transition from enlisted oh, to officer is a lot nice. easier than in the American military. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? You know, they... Can, you, can I tell you why? Yes, I want to go shopping. Shut the hell up, Lieutenant. 
<laughs> Wish we could rename him. I'd name him Will, so we could just keep saying, Shut the hell up, Will. <laughs> that's why we call him Karth. Indeed. Whatever happens, oh, yeah, we'll that's true. Shut the hell up, Karth. He does not deserve the abuse we give him, but man, do I enjoy giving it to him. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Oh, yes. There is something. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right so, out of med school. Yeah. Earth always seemed boring to me. <laughs> too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming. Well, all right, here are your enlisted. Ship. Wait, you're a freaking doctor? Bullshit, you're a commander now. <laughs> tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity but needs the be. Alliance if we want we to keep expanding much. through the Traverse. And the Alliance G I L F. What's that spell? <laughs> Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a <laughs> position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something... So colony, my colony. I, I think that's a song, but it's not. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty Ooh, much anything they'll ever run He knows when to crack the whip. And he cares about Ooh, him. Good. Whack, whack! Oh, yes, Daddy! Go. Goodbye, Commander. I have the one o'clock. And I can deal with you. Okay. We'll wrap up the video and then we'll watch Morgan while you're out. <clears throat> okay. So. All right. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could I'm use some good news okay. after what happened to Jenkins. Ashley. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. She I says with the tone of voice that means she, that she, she doesn't mean it. Ah. Be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Indeed. She says with the that tone of voice that says she thinks I've otherwise. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd rather have Ashley. Than Jenkins. Things were pretty rough down oh. there. Are you okay? That's why there needs to be I've a mask about before. Jenkins. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. I'd like to know more about Jenkins the clone. <laughs> <And you> never <laughs> I've decided in my head canon he's a clone. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Nobody ever really needs to speak with Joker. You just kind of do. You just kind of end up speaking with Joker. Oh yeah, the sleeper pods. <laughs> the hydraulic sleeper pods. <laughs> Something's hydraulic. Um, anyways. <laughs> Alright, well. I, I always liked how this game um, loaded the next scenes, but mm -hmm. they hid that loading behind doors opening and elevators going up. So it <laughs> seemed very seamless. Yeah, except that the elevator rides were like five goddamn minutes. It's true, but they were fun. Especially listening to the different uh, radio broadcasts and stuff. Yep. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Here you go. All right. <clears throat> we arrive in the... The, uh... Mass Effect. Whoosh! This... I do like the design of the Citadel. Um, yeah. Part of me wishes that the uh, that the uh, arms of it were wide open. Yeah. Rather than this like crack light, like this flower barely opening. But yeah, no, then, I get you. Yeah, no, I agree. But then, I mean, you saw in, in the third game, you'll see it pop wide open as well. So. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower too. <laughs> look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the, the sorry make ship their the make their ships all look like side. fleshlights even though they don't have so the no equipment to use such things. True. <laughs> 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 clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dr. Copy that. Wait, really? I mean, right in. We almost 
don't need to like recreate this for a Mass Effect movie or television show. No, the, not the music. You, you, well, the I'm, music I'm also stuff. talking about this whole entry point. Oh, I yeah, I mean, this I was a clean up a little bit. The council really would step in if they get attacked a Turian uh, colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You Shut the to fuck make up, Udina. Castle, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Anderson. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground <laughs> team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. Why wouldn't they, they be? Sounds like you convinced the council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already <laughs> done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. <laughs> then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. <laughs> Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Sounds like an awful, awful lot. Of and that's why I hate politicians. Hey, man, Ashley. Amen. And have you noticed that Ashley changed her uniform? Yep. She's no longer wearing the pink. Yeah, I, yeah, I swapped it out. I, so. I, well, I'm just mentioning that because I'm <laughs> thankful that you did. Because honestly, that pink was I mean, hideous. Not only was it hideous, but it was hideous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we are on the Citadel. This seems like a good point to uh, leave it off for now. So when we come back, we will go to trial and wander around a space station for God knows how long before we get to kill stuff again. <laughs> yeah, and I think we get to talk to a, a, a woman of negotiable affections. <laughs> so we'll be seeing you, kids.